get out of here for the police we, show we, up? We might, we might ought to whip on out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning there, Dirt Bike family. I've got some bad news. We've had a loss in the DBF family. The motorcycle lift table took a turn for the worse last night. I guess it was used too much when it was new. I don't know. Last night, Jed went to go raise the mower up on the hoist and got up about, yeah, yay far. And the cable decided to leave the party. Man, it's like dealing with a porcupine. So let's see if we can get the old cable fixed and let's even get this uh, lift table back in operation. Hello? Hello? this thing on. Since I can't go up with a hoist on this thing and my other hoist is buried and I'm being lazy and I don't want to go dig it out, um, I'm going to build a battery box for this thing. So I've got my sheet of 18 gauge steel over there and I'm going to go dig my brake out and we're going to build a battery box to contain this battery to go about right there. So let's get going. different note I just got to tell you guys I just bought this Hercules uh, grinder 20 volt grinder I am super super impressed with how these Hercules tools from Harbor Freight run they're no sponsor or anything like that I'm just telling you if you guys are looking for an inexpensive tool that is just works absolutely wonderful I highly recommend these brushless Hercules stuff I'm on a quest to find the best inexpensive tools across the board that there is. So if you guys know of another cheap, shouldn't say cheap, inexpensive tool that you can't go wrong with, leave it down in the comments below. And if it's something that I'm interested in, I'll buy it and we'll test it. But as of right now, all my Milwaukee stuff I think it's going away and I'm switching over to the Hercules stuff. This is pretty good stuff. Oh, that's a good thing I don't need to use that every day because it's a pain in the butt to move. But I think this will work. Go do a little uh, dolly work and hammer work, crisp these edges up, and I think it's gonna be about right. All right, so got the battery all mounted, and look who else showed up. Hey! We got Jace and Troy. Hello. So Troy's over there working on the switch on the handlebars, getting it on ungummed up. And Jace is working on a mount to mount the key switch next to the handlebars. So I'm going to go ahead and continue cleaning up some more of this wiring and uh, go from there. Drawing stuff. I'm an, I'm an artist. Artiste. Art, artist, don't you know? Picasso. Fancy. Very. Oh, good morning there, DBF family. Yeah, it's pretty early. The sun's just barely starting to come up. So. I'm out in the garage this morning trying to get an early start before Jed shows up because last night 
We left this place a disaster. Check out this workbench. Yeah. The top of my tool cart, it pretty much looks the same. So Troy and Jason and I got quite a bit of got quite a bit of stuff done on this thing yesterday afternoon. Uh, I've almost got the entire thing wired. I still have to wire in the fuel pump relay into the switch that Troy took apart and basically rebuilt because it was all nasty and corroded. I mean, it's 1986, it's gonna need some love. And Jay spent some time and built a ignition key switch mount for this thing. And so we did, we got a lot of stuff done on this thing. So I feel pretty good about it. So first things first this morning when Jed gets here is he's gonna bring my synthetic rope for the table because I'm tired of working on this thing on the ground. And uh, we're gonna get that done, but first thing I do this morning before anybody gets here, I'm gonna put tools away and clean up this workbench. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. Okay, Jed showed up with the parts to fix the hoist. And when he got us, was this here Badlands 50 foot 3 16 rope. So that should be a heck of a lot stronger than that stupid steel cable. So we're gonna go ahead and lift this thing off and get it changed out. What do you think? It'll probably just kill me. I'll, I'll kind of stand here and hold it for a second here and make I said I'll let you do the honors and break this cable. No. Got bud. We're in a danger zone. It's a lot quieter. I mean it's still noisy, but it was pretty rattly, kind of. Yeah. What's your thoughts there, Jay? So, want to run this by you, make sure you're, we're on the same page. I think last time we had it basically flat, and then we had another C channel tunnel. Seems like it. So, I'm thinking I'll just come up high enough and make it one piece and then come down. So, we're just flat across here, come up into that, and then uh -huh. have the tunnel just nicely snug up against that. You know, make a line there, but then also have probably a C notch here and a C notch there. Uh huh slide it in kind of snug to there okay so we're we're covered i mean and have it come back three or four inches behind the fenders i like it but yeah get rid of this what looks do you like, call it alligator look, looks like an alligator's been chewing on it or a rabid yeah, beaver cl clean that up so it don't look so not quite so trashy we're a little classier than that it might not look like it sometimes <laughs> in this but <laughs> What are you talking about? We're high class rednecks ish. Definitely try to take a little more pride in our work than that. Yeah. Well, we're not as pushed on this this year, so maybe we've had a little more time to clean things up a little from the last go around. It was very rushed last year. Yeah, for sure. say close just needs to count horseshoe and hand grenades yeah. and apparently tunnels for racing mowers lawn mowers I like it
fit. Gonna fit. Might need to do a little bit of a more of a hoo ha there. A hoo ha. A little quick buffing. A little quick buffing, but yeah, nice. That look good. Well, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the motor out of this thing and try to stay out of his way and clean it up. And while I have the motor out of it, I'm gonna do the final finish welding on the mounts. And I wish I had some green paint, but I don't because I painted up, but it's Sunday in Southern Utah and everywhere's closed. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up and uh, move on, I guess. Right? Right. Ready, break. Ready, break. Something's about to happen. Okay, I got it. Woo! Okay, I got the uh, wiring pretty well handled. Got the frame touched up with the old green on this thing. Jed's over here finishing up the tunnel. He's got a few little things we're gonna do so we can nut sort it and tie the seat front of the seat into the pan itself and uh, after that I think we'll be ready to go but I don't think we're gonna be riding this thing today because it's literally snowing outside so I don't want to drive in the snow very bad to you Jed I didn't bring my jacket <laughs> yeah we didn't bring our snowmobile gear so I don't know we'll see we'll see how far we get this evening pretty much just a matter of getting a hold of it setting it down in you can grab that side case and help me lift over. It should be just fine. Just like that. Just like that. Huh. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, I'll bolt this bad girl in. I don't hate it. Oh, hey, you're filming. That looks pretty dang good. Like, looks like wow, crap. Look it looks that. good. Yeah. Wow. I think it ties in nicely. This is the angle. That's it? That's the spot? That's the one that does it? Oh, yeah. How'd you get that in there? Uh, that's a that's an artist secret. Was it, did you have brown paint? Yeah, I got it right here. I know, right? I was surprised about it as you were. I was like, huh? Very no impressive. kidding, it worked. Very impressive. Happy little accidents. Happy, there's no mistakes. They're just happy little accidents. It looks really good. Looks like a giant turd now. I don't know what was after, right? Pretty impressive. Look at those greens, they're pretty, pretty The good. greens are pretty close-ish. Cool. Well, good morning there, guys. Today's the day. We're actually gonna go ride the old racing lawnmower for the first time, for the second time. First time with the new power plant in it. So, as soon as Jed and Jace get here, we'll load this thing up, we'll go try it out. 100% untested. This might be interesting. Got old Jacer here. We're gonna see if we can uh, take her for a test burn. Old burn ski. Yeah, turns out it snowed. It ran, well, it rained all yesterday afternoon into the night. We woke up to what? Two inches of snow this yeah. morning? Yeah, I was not thrilled. Yeah, so everywhere. It's really muddy. Yes, it's, it's a muddy mess. So the only place we found we could ride this thing today is in the county rodeo grounds parking lot, so. Hopefully we can get away with that one, but <laughs> we're gonna slap the old helmet on and take, take it for a ride. For see how she does. American helmet off for safety. Safety first. Third. All right, hammer down, old boy. I'm gonna start out.
might be geared just about right. It'll was, whip one heck of a Brody. That was Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I, I honestly thought it was going to be way too low geared. It's a little better in the dirt than it is on the a asphalt, it seems. Yeah, it's way underpowered. Yeah. It ain't no 500. Oh, no. But I feel like it's going to flip. It like, does. You got you to gotta hang off this thing in turns. <laughs> That thing's awesome. Oh, no. You gotta take her for a rip. I'll take her for a rip. Oh. All right, that's pretty fun. It runs pretty good. We're gonna let old Jace give her a whirl. Give her See what he thinks of the old sister. <laughs> oh, it's underpowered. <laughs> Oh, but I think it'll be good for a mower race. Sounds good. Sounds really good, actually. Don't you? I think so. <laughs> like it's not bad. I love it. It's so fun. It's uh, it's quite a bit easier to ride, <laughs> dude. It really does. It reminds me of that old blue go kart, <laughs> just spinning in circles. <laughs> oh, it's great. Uh, well, I think it passed the test. Uh, what do you think? You think we should load up and get out of here for the police show we, up? We might. We might ought to whip on out of here. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm pleased with it. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's going to do it for this one. So make sure you guys subscribe. You want to see this thing get raced here in a couple weeks. Should be fun. Hopefully we get a whole bunch of these things and have a great time. Catch you later. Did you find a mud hole, Dude, sir? Dude, that was... You got a little on your face it, like that. It like fell out from under me. The ground was just gone all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know it'll mud bog at least. <laughs> it does do that. <laughs>